here. I ain't in the mood to record a video for you skid marks this morning, so it's the perfect time to record a video. I want to tell you the reason that most of you guys are freaking stuck and you never get to be as good as you want to be. It's because you only compete against yourself or you only compete against people who you know you can beat or think you can beat. And once you get to a certain level, the only way for you to get better is to compete against people who you think are going to freaking crush you. And that's what we're gonna do here today. And that's why I am who I am. And if you're stuck being average, find people that are better than you, seek them out, and go to freaking battle against them. Cause that will sharpen you. So don't be a freaking turd. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've gathered here this morning so that you can watch us suffer once again. I'm here with my good friend Hamza. Uh, he's planned out a freaking awesome workout for us. We're going to go head to head against each other. And uh, Hamza, what's up with you, man? Uh, what are you all about? This is the first time our viewers have seen you on the channel. So Yeah. So Hey, guys. So my name is Hamza. I'm a CrossFit game athlete. Uh, I qualified for the CrossFit Games 2019 as a national champion of Palestine and 2020 uh, and qualified for the semi-final 2021 and 22 uh, and my best rank uh, in the world like 33 in the open 2022 uh, and I am a coach as well a CrossFit coach uh, have a CrossFit level 2 and some other certification for personal training uh, weightlifting uh, that's it. So guys, Hans is probably one of the best, uh, most well-rounded athletes that I possibly know, or that I've ever known. Um, and that's the reason that I want to compete against Hamza today. And this is the workout, 1,000 meter run, 15 burpee over the box, 1,000 meter row. We're going to continue to do that cycle, 800, 600, 400, down to 200. This is for time. So we're just going to chip away at this. I told you guys earlier in the video, the only way, once you reach a certain level in your personal fitness, the only way for you to become better is to find guys who are the best in the freaking world and subject yourself to competition against them. All right? So I don't know that I can win, but I'm going to give this joker hell in the process, son. Let's get after it. Five. Four, three, two, one, bust them.
burpees, Chad. Burpees. Hamza, man, how'd you smoke him so bad? <laughs> okay, I based him on the run, the first set. Like, I know if I want to go, like, same the speed he did or keep up with him, maybe that's gonna affect me here. So, I started like slow, smart, and I finished strong. So, this was the strategy. That's what freaking excellence looks like. Dude, so um, that's what elite looks like. Uh, <clears throat> I pushed freaking hard on that, man. You crushed it, dude. Yeah, you did that was too. really impressive, man. And again, guys, the awesome thing about this is uh, that that made me I got better today because of the work that he put in, that he has put in to become a better athlete than me. He made me better. So I appreciate your hard work, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. That you, you put in and for offering yourself up. And guys, you're gonna I, I hope you're gonna get to see more of Hamza on the 307 Project YouTube channel. Um, I hope he's generous with us and will pop in, compete and share wisdom with you guys about his mindset, about his technique, about his journey to come from a, a really different place in the world where he faced challenges that many of us don't face here in the States, and he still rose to the freaking top, man. He rose to the freaking top. So what would you share with the listeners today or the viewers today, Hamza? So first thing... Thank you, and thank you guys. So, uh, I think like, uh, so for me, like the biggest things always I'm thinking about, like just think about one thing. Uh, so don't set like a big goal for you. Like I never thought I will be here today or I will like be in like this level. So always just think about the next step. Uh, 
like this in live or in the workout too. Like today, I didn't think about the last 200. I was thinking about like the first 1,000 meter run. Then finish there like the 15 baby box jump over. So just take it step by step, like in your workout or in your life, or if you want to get or reach any goals. So don't look like in the big pictures, just like, like focus on the next step, and that's it. That, that's, that's just freaking key, man. That's exactly how I made it through SEAL training. That's exactly how I made it through this workout today. Actually, on this workout, when I was doing the 800, in the middle of the 800, I caught my mind drifting to the 600, and I actually physically slowed down because I started to feel overwhelmed in the middle of that 800-meter run mm -hmm. because I was thinking about the 600-meter run that was coming, and I had to reel my mind back in. You had to be conscious of those thoughts, right? Mm -hmm. Because that's human nature for us to think, right. freaking what's coming, what's coming, what's coming. And that keeps you from performing at your maximum potential. Uh, the task that you have to do to stay in the fight at mm -hmm. that moment. And so you have to be conscious of that, guys, when your mind drifts, just like Hamza said, you need to be aware of that. And as soon as that happens, you have to say, nope. Cut it off and literally tell yourself, be present. Focus on the task at hand. And then we can take what's next when we get there. That's freaking sound wisdom, brother. I love you, man. Love you too. Thank you. Enough said, guys.